I guess. Alright, here we go. That's on it. I don't have to do anything. Yeah, so characters as predicted. <laughs> PS2, the classic. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Squirtle, starting off, as always, rack up that quick percent. Yeah, so from what I have seen of Gus play before, he definitely likes to go for the low percent Squirtle, you know, damage build, potential uh, quick gimps and things like that. And then when he gets him to about, about this percent, he about will switch percent. to Bulbasaur, Ever no, uh, yep. Ivysaur. Well, you've got the kill sense and the... Well, Ivysaur... Yeah, Ivysaur has the... I think the better normals overall, and the, you know, the, the zoning game, and oh, then yeah. the kill setups, and the, the kill, kill the... Setups. You know, the kill confirms, rather. So. Squirtle has a very hard time killing, especially... Oh, yeah. Outside of, yeah. you know, gimps and things like that, but that's not what you would call an easy time. Against the so. snake, where he's just holding shield, you're not going to get a smash attack. Ooh, so Gus is definitely aware of the C4. Yeah. Last match we saw Kyle play on stream. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Brent had kind of got bodied by just the C4. He lost so many stocks to it, so... Switching back to Squirtle for those gets the ledge, combos yes. again. But he took that first stock pretty uh, convincingly. I mean, he took 80%. Yeah, it's fair enough. It's hard to say with Pokemon Trader because, you know, 80% for Squirtle is a big deal, but for Charizard, it's not so much. That's know? true. I was kind of in the middle, I don't know. Oh, Tech Chase read. He had the read, but he wasn't confident putting out the hitbox, I guess? I don't know. Or even maybe a bit late. Oh, yeah. For those side Bs into forward airs. Oh, nice. Hits the... Wow, up just tilt. up tilt to up tilt. Through the forward air. That double up tilt is a pretty big staple of uh, Weep's play sometimes. It's a, it's a good... It's almost a frame trap sort of situation. Down there to mix up that rolls, landing. That was... Rolls in, but the forward smash for Bul uh, yeah, Ivysaur yeah. still... Why do I keep trying to call him Bulbasaur? I... <laughs> Ivy. Ivysaur. Ivy. Yeah, anyway. Great I'm going Let's go, move. Squirtle. <laughs> oh, he didn't quite get hit by that grenade on the coverage. That is Sam. Oh, Gus is so good at converting off these. Oh, yeah. Gus's low percent combo game is amazing. Oh, just gets clipped by that grenade, though. Doesn't he matter. He's still bit... getting into this. Oh, oh yeah. he thought he'd try the super withdraw super armor against the uh, grenade. Oh, it works. You don't get damaged. But no, but he's, he, it stopped him in place, which is probably oh, yeah. a bit more detrimental. Yeah, nice. Big hitboxes here from Ivysaur. C4 there. He's jumping. Yeah. Nice. Takes stage control. He's got him off the ledge. C4's in the nice. middle. Nice. Yeah. See, that move is Water read. disgustingly large. Forward? And, and that forward smash of Ivysaur, and he, he, the headbutt is a strong hit, but the back hit where the vines are stretched out, ah. is that, the that still has a hitbox and it has a well, different angle. It sends at a much more upwards angle at that if point. If you're there, mm. he has to go through you to hit you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, but it's still like the, just the sheer amount of space that they move cover. It, can, oh, it, it yeah. covers roll in on a lot of things because really? he extends and you roll into the middle of the hitbox because he's oh, and, stretched and out so far. Though. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. So obviously it's the weak hit, but it's still uh, still a hit. Still a hit, and it's in certain sense it just doesn't matter. So. I mean, you just got to keep hitting him till he dies. Both players sticking. All right, FD. I feel like this this matchup is in favor of Pokemon Trainer. Um, purely because of Ivysaur. I, I think most uh, most good things about Pokemon Trainer are thanks to Ivysaur, oh, I, which so. I, th I think is maybe the... Oh, Ooh, what is that? Already 80%. But in this matchup, um, Ivysaur, his side bees blow off the grenades when they hit. Oh, is he living? He's yes, living. He is. Great tech. Both grab the ledge. Oh, I still hasn't... No, still no percent on uh, Snake here. <laughs> Even yeah, you see, they, go, they hit the grenades, go through them. And blow them off on oh, the line. That's pretty that's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. Alright, finally taking a little ticket percent to sixteen percent from the wall. It's called that not quite that's dying. A nice idea, so though. so low uh, on the stage. I like that he tried to switch through the Ooh, very low shield damage. Yeah, a bit of an Ooh, just barely misses it with the end of that uh, the end of the iframe on the uh, air dodge. Uh, had the wrong read. Ooh, very nearly at yeah. the. Uh, all right, now he's at true kill comp. Uh, down the uh, sand, but just the little up tilt takes it off of the shield. So we look for some sort of uh, some sort of setup, maybe here or this edge guard. Oh, went for a man. Oh wow, catches him with the coverage up there. Nice. Using those B moves to quick switch. 
character management. Is that the right word? I guess it's the right word. Yeah, Gus is uh, pretty dang good. So he, knows, he certainly knows what he's doing. Yeah. Wow. He knows what he wants to do with each character at each position. Yeah, I think he, he, he has a clear game plan, at least in his head, of what he, what he wants to achieve at any one time. So. Easily the best Pokemon trainer in Brisbane. Oh yeah, for sure. I think he's the only one. So. <laughs> By virtue of that. Default. Walling him out. Oh, Ooh, just gets up into the explosions man. on these off smashes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Catches him out of the switch with the long blasting frame. Ooh, oh, that's going to get him on the get up attack. Alright, so we had a little bit of a little bit of a swing in momentum. But if we can steal this stock quickly here, we'll be back to even on the last one. I mean, one more razor leaf in the four we'll deck. back safely. Value. But you know, Snake's really good at Whoa, getting trades excellent. out of people. Coverage. Oh, nice. Whoa, that's the sort of dash deck you want to avoid. Alright, patient, patient from Weave here. With an edge guard, not quite. He's got him trapped at the edge here. Ah, uh, he gets it back across. Very good job avoiding that C4. Seems like a bit of an early switch to Ivysaur, but he hasn't really been playing Squirtle much in this game. I think maybe the stage choice, something oh, to do with it, no platforms to continue the combos with, maybe Ivysaur's just a better play in neutral. Is 100%, so maybe he just doesn't want to die. That's also a good point. Any Squirtle's obviously the last of three, so... He's got a long way to, a lot of damage to build here if he wants to win this game. So, I mean, Ivysaur is the one to rack it up with. Ooh, Ooh, there he got goes. No jump. He's territory. got to go high. Oh, he's sort of getting back. All right, he gets back on the ledge. He sort of missed out on his opportunity for that there. Oh, double roll. Just gonna space him out with side beams. Another grenade. Catch the landing here. Good switch. Stalled him out. Got another jump. Just using it Ooh, as a free this is scary. Oh no. Back to Ivysaur, yeah, you need to get all the way back to Ivysaur. Yeah. Just using the Charizard. He's not done building. See, he was very... Ooh. Ooh, that's oh, down air. Oh, there we down go. air. Catches him out of the thing. All right, little fist bump there from, from Gus. Oh, we got a best of three, though. Ah, oh, what are did, we? Is this top eight? Realize, winner's quarters, yes. Yeah, nice. Top eight, All oh, right, so a best of three. We've down two games, though. Seemed... That game seemed closer, but still not, uh... I mean, it wasn't as fast as the first game, so he's definitely taken mm. some adjustments. Mm. See what he can do. I what the pick will be. Stay hydrated. Smashville. Gotta stay hydrated. Smashville, maybe just give him some less room to run around with those razor leaves. Pokemon trainer. I guess. The platform in the middle is also very powerful for Snake, using the C4 as a sort C4. of a deterrent. Because you can just sit underneath it and just wait. I was going to sneeze, but now it's gone. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you got mixed up. Alright. <laughs> Delayed the hit. Ooh, oh, he got it. The footstool. Punished with a forward smash for 27%. That's pretty decent, I guess. Oh, went for another one. Uh, maybe with Galaxy Rain, you pull some grenades and get, like, combos. I don't know if you've got that much time. Oh, you've got a bit of time. You've got like, time. Uh, you're, you're wiggling around for about three still, seconds. Still, uh, Snake's, Snake's more fat. Snake's forward smash will kill you from a, some, a ridiculously low percent if he gets even a little bit of charge on it. So. Really? Oh yeah, dude. 30% at the edge of the stage, you're dead for like a raw, raw forward smash. Like, it is ridiculously strong. It takes forever to come out, so... Ooh. Good shield pressure. Nice spacing, but doesn't punish Pla the roll. Oh, this is a platform tech chase. Get up. Oh, Ooh, I've seen it. Oh, it still clips him when he switched to Charizard. Maybe because of the bigger hitbox? Oh, nice. Grab to the falling up smash mortar. A classic snake staple. Oh, see, this is the power of the the mortar on the edge. Where, this is what you know, snake even, does, even if you get back on stage, you still... Oh, wow. Amazing coverage of the down smash. You don't see down smash out of weed very often, so that was clearly a intentional choice. So. Oh. Nice patience. But, yeah. Replies pretty quickly. So back to even. Second stop. Ooh. 
fuck are saving? Look, look, look at the combo. There's a grenade in play. There we go. The Continues the combo out of the grenade. Combo, yeah. But he's still got some, still got good damage out of it, so... Ah, uh, he fired. I don't think these guys have ever played in bracket before, so... You know, definitely a matchup both ways where you, you really need the experience oh, against the other character. I feel so like... I think these guys are doing pretty well to keep it even. In Brisbane, you've got a lot of snake experience. Ah, uh, yeah. You've got Sad Hour, Snake, mm. very good Snake, Weave. I think Weave and Sad Hour actually play quite differently with Snake, though. But, alright. What's that? So he's up. Another stock. If we can take this stock pretty quickly here, without taking too much extra damage, you know, he's in with a chance, but... Seems like he's on the right track for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's up. All right, last stock, 0-0. Zero, zero. This is Weeb's, Weeb's winner's bracket stock, Ooh, though. Combos! With up air, don't we see that too Yeah, you can chain quite a lot. Three, I think. Wow, that's pretty good. Snake's a pretty easy character to hit out of the air, though. He doesn't really have too many options, and he's quite slow. Ooh, very narrowly avoids the forward smash. He doesn't have an up B anymore, so... Because with Ivy, the up B only pops you up the first time you use it. Yeah. Ooh, gets oh, oh wow, great. <laughs> great little uh, tricksy C4 drop. Yeah, he jumps, drops the C4, and then double jumps. Ah, so he gets out of the it. way, and then if you react poorly, he can grab There it. he's through oh, the wow. stage. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Weave is not happy oh. with that one. Oh where's the, boy! Where's the player cam? And a swift three zero. <laughs> oh boy, that was through the full stage nearly. That was insane.